Hey ladies, I want to start this video off by saying what you're going to see in this video from 2018 is me during a period of time where I intentionally used heat to break down the bonds in my hair and loosen up my curl pattern. This was a year before going to relaxer. Now, I want to point out a key difference. A lot of people have this idea that if you want your hair to stay straight when you are heat styling that you have to do this but i want to clarify that there is a difference between intentionally heat training your hair and when i say heat training i mean intentionally using heat to break the bonds down to loosen your curl pattern and simply wanting a silk press you can still have straight silky hair and retain your curl pattern but you can also intentionally use heat to loosen your curl pattern so i want to make that clear in this particular point in my hair journey i had no desire to keep texture in my hair okay so definitely wash day it's been wash day uh and i just want to show you guys how i do my hair if i haven't already I'm one of those people who, I'm not going to say I will use anything on my hair, but if something is cheap and it works well, then I'm going to use it. Like, I'm not the type to be like, oh, it got silicones in it. Oh, I'm not using that. If, to me, if it works, it works. So, you know what? As I'm saying this, either I recorded a video like this or I already did a video like this, but I'm going to do it again because I have new followers. So, um, so yes. You got to mix the high end with the low end. Why is this camera looking like this? So I just switched. I'm done with Apple. This iPhone, when it falls apart, that's going to be it. Because I just can't play. I, I'm, I just, I'm not playing with them no more. So, anyways, um, I flat iron my hair like three to four times a month. Once a week. Really, okay, really I flat iron it like three times a month. Because I usually do like a week and a few days. But, um, yeah, my hair no longer has like mini curls. It's not really tight. Um. And uh, it's still poofy though, it's still same. And um, I just want to show y'all how long it takes for my hair to get back in its natural state when it's wet. Because everybody's like, oh, I'm not wearing the silk press because as soon as I get outside, it's going to poof up. But it's like, no, if you moisturize your hair properly, blah, 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 it will withstand it, girl. Because even when I was in Georgia, my hair stayed pressed, stayed laid. Well, let me see. Sorry, I got this little bitty shirt on. I didn't want to get my sweater wet. Ooh. You see that? Even when I'm in the shower, like it takes a minute. I remember one time I got my hair wet. It was just still straight. <laughs> It literally takes me like one shampoo. Now it's starting to get like thicker. If only I had somebody to wash my hair. Hey ladies, so last week during Black Friday, my biggest sale of the year, I announced to you all that I was releasing a new project entitled Choosing the Right Products. And in that guide, I'm going to teach you all everything you need to know to become a more informed consumer when it comes to hair care product selection, familiarizing yourself with which products you need, which ones you don't need, and really just giving you the skill set you need in order to increase your discernment when it comes to determining whether or not a product is a good one because the reality is you don't have to trial a thousand products to find the one that works what you have to do is educate yourself on what products your hair needs and learn how to again discern whether or not a product 
possesses the properties in order to help you meet that goal. So with that being said, you can currently pre-order that ebook now on the website for 50% off. The official guide will release around December 23rd. But in the meantime, if you could answer or ask your hair product questions down below, not only will that help me, you know, make sure that I am including the proper information in the guide, but it'll help me curate content that actually better serves you all. And in the meantime, what I'd like you all to do is make sure you check out this tab on my YouTube channel because a lot of the questions you all are answering I already have several videos where I have addressed them. So definitely click that link in the bio if you're on TikTok, whatever, and head over to my YouTube channel. Check out this post on my community tab because over there you will be able to um, hey, get answers right now to some of the very questions that you have. Okay, so this is it after like letting it sit with the water. Now once I wash it, you'll see. Take the easy way out. Woo! Ah! Ah! Y'all gotta get one of these. If you don't have one of these, you're tripping, sister. It's the easy way. My scalp doesn't itch, but it be flaky. It don't be flaky. It's like a little salt and peppery, you know what I'm saying? I know y'all be seeing it on my shirt. That's why if I don't wash my hair after a week, it's just disgusting. I always like to go like this. I know I'm weird. Ooh, that's Ooh, ooh, that's almost in my By the way, if um if my armpits are, if you see my armpits, please ignore them because you know I'm in between grow outs right now. So by the way, if y'all ain't been to the birthday soup, that's my spot. That's my spot. So I'ma come clean. I'ma come clean. I only told my mama this, but I'ma tell y'all. Crochet braids are ugly. They ugly. Ooh, 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 ooh. They coming for me. They coming for me. And you know, I ain't. I didn't want to say nothing, but I had a dream about it the other day. I told my mom that I would literally, if I had ex, if I had some disposable income, and the president or somebody said, "What do you want to ban?" I would ban crochet braids. And I told my mom that the other day. I had a dream the same night that I was in school and the principal called me and said, you need to sign this form because you violating the rules. And the rules had a bunch of what not to do's, right? And one of the rules said, no crochet braids allowed, automatic suspension. <laughs> I was cracking up because it's so crazy how you be having dreams about what you talking about. Y'all, I don't like crochet braids. I'm going to be real. What, what are your thoughts? What are your thoughts? Are you gonna beat me up? You cannot pay me to do crochet braids. You cannot pay me. Now that's something we need to leave in 2018. I, I can't trust you if you wear crochet braids because I don't know if you would be willing to tell me the truth about if I look a mess. If you would walk around with your stuff exposed like that, would you tell me the truth if I look a mess? If I got the whites on my lip, and like Alonzo says, would you tell me the truth? You can't trust people who wear crochet braids. I'm sorry. I'm going to come out and say I'm going to have to delete this. Okay, so this is my hair after shampoo. If you're wondering, like, oh, so you straighten off and so, like, blah, 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 what it look like? Like I said, it has a little bit of some weak curls, you know what I'm saying? But... That piano, I love it. Oh, I forgot I didn't shave my armpits. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. Let's be real, though. This is real life. This is real life. Please 
Please don't thin your hair without deep conditioning right after. Unless you don't mind uh, being bald headed. Okay. Whew. Helmet hair. Okay, so I had a client, so um, I'm gonna finish now. So I deep conditioned with after I did that. Cause y'all know I don't, that's it. That's all I use, period, period. So um, yeah, so now I'm about to flat iron, blow dry my hair and flat iron it. I was gonna say something though. I just can't remember what it was. Dang, it was a good little thing, but maybe I'll remember. I'm going to tell y'all, y'all know I'm always talking about deep condition. I'm going a, I'm to a throw up deep condition in D.C. to the day I die. D.C., D.C. Y'all know I'm the deep condition, deep conditioning, uh, band, goon, goon. The deep conditioning goon, right? So, dang, my armpit's still in the camera. When I tell y'all some more moisturize my hair got, my blow drying got so much easier. Look, it's like butter. y'all real quick this is my little analysis on hair i've heard a few other people say this but i don't feel like enough people think about hair in this way um and um i think i'm right about this because i feel like evidence shows right we don't need no scientific studies um anyways i don't know what i'm talking about so i have a theory that um basically so people always think like oh white people people caucasian people asian people the hair grows so well, blah, blah, blah. Why black hair don't grow, da, da, da. So, I don't know if y'all have ever noticed. See, I don't think relaxers are evil, period. I grew up with relaxers, and anytime I had a relaxer that my stylist put in, my hair was kept up with it. We ain't had no problems. My hair was flourishing, right? So, I always noticed when my hair was relaxed, like, oh, my hair grows so fast with a relaxer. My hair grows so fast. So this is how I think about it. Cor kinky hair, coily hair, curly hair. It's harder to keep moisturized in its natural state, right? Because we all know, or maybe everybody doesn't know, it's harder for the natural oils to travel down the hair strand when the hair is curly, right? See, for white people or people with looser texture hair, when they be like, oh my God, it's so oily. I look greasy, like after two days. There's nothing for their their oils to get down their hair, right? But for us, it's like, ooh, since our hair dry, blah, 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 right? The reason I keep my hair stretched, whether it's in braids, straight, I keep it stretched because it's nothing to keep my hair moisturized. Yes, when my hair is in a stretched state, it's nothing to moisturize it. So I retain lymph like that. Not only do I retain wind, but it be mad moisturized. And I'm not saying you can't do this while natural, but I feel like it takes more work and I'm just not willing to do that. You see the thing? The bone I have to pick is that. This is the, the bone I have to pick. I support all hair and lifestyles, right? Except for people who don't take care of their hair. People like that annoy me, especially people who say, yeah, it's just my hair, my hair, my hair. And they want to complain and complain, but they don't do nothing to change it. Those people do get on my nerves and I don't support those hair lifestyles, right? The thing is, a lot of the, the problem I have with YouTube, well, not with YouTube, but with people on YouTube giving hair advice. And I don't have a problem with people giving hair advice on YouTube. I a problem with people who consume it and act like everything on youtube is the truth there there's there are gems on youtube come on i learned stuff off youtube but everything on you ain't on youtube ain't the truth come on now you gotta pick and choose you gotta think for yourself so my thing is We 
all knew people back in the day who stayed with a press and their hair was a beautiful, beautiful, right? So how in 2018, 2015, 2014, how was heat bad? And if you use heat, your hair won't grow. Where did this come from? When you use heat improperly, you don't know what you're doing and you keep breaking your hair off. Okay, makes sense. But this notion that, you know, when people do those videos, the number one, number one tip, number one tip for me growing this fro is no heat. Absolutely no heat. Heat is your worst enemy. Don't use heat, blah, blah, blah. And my thing is people giving what worked for them. I totally understand. But see, one thing I'm going to let y'all know real quick. I always say real quick. A lot of natural come in here and their hair looks beautiful when it's curly but as soon as it's straight it looks horrible and I feel like me personally in my personal professional in my professional experience I feel like curly hair mask a lot you can't really tell how dry your hair is you can't really tell how bad your ends really look you can't really tell so people go along with this fro and yes yeah, growing but as soon as you straighten it the truth come out sis because Co-washing is not going to moisturize your hair as much as you need. I've never seen it done. I've never seen it do good. So I said that to say, please do not listen to everybody on YouTube. And please do not disregard what you know. You know what? Stories are limited. I'm going to stop ranting on my stories and do lives for people who want to hear rants. So anyway, into my straightening. This side of my hair is shorter, as you can clearly see from cutting my own hair. But it actually has a really cute shape. If I wore my hair curly, I feel like this would be cute because it gives volume. This side got like a diva cut. I hate when they do that. Anyway, so I'm about to straighten my hair now. It's already straightened. I'm about to press my hair. Anyways, what am I doing? What am I doing? <laughs> okay, so realistically, I'm putting this heat protecting on for you guys. But if I'm being honest, I don't really use heat protectant on my hair. Because to me, like I always say, the true heat protectant is healthy hair. To me, heat protectant is a placebo. But that's just my opinion. When it comes in spray form, I feel like serums, I feel like, okay, okay, I see that. I see. But to me, it's just like a placebo. If your hair damaged, girl, if your hair dry, Ain't no amount of spray gonna protect your hair. So like I said, to me it's all about preventative measures or whatever. And I feel like deep conditioning is a preventative measure. I'm gonna rep DC. DC. Okay, so should I do a side part today? I haven't done a side part in a while. I'm gonna do a side part just cause. Her heartache my favorite song. Oh, I scratched my head. Tomara que você volte de pressa, que você não se dispensa do cavalo no meu carinho. E chore se arrepender se muito, que é melhor se sofrer junto que feliz. Brasil, 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 Brasil. Girl, we gonna have a sit in pretty and Brasil, 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 What does saudade mean? I can't figure it out. And I keep forgetting to look it up on Google. Somebody, can somebody look that up for me? Okay, so I always sweat on my hair on 450. Yep, yep. One pass. I flat iron my hair on 450 because that's what it takes to get my hair straight, and I just do one pass. Hair 
corn burns at 451 degrees. And it really all depends on your hair type and how healthy your hair is, how much heat your hair can withstand. So don't just go out here flat ironing your hair on 450. Okay, so I'm very mad. Not really. But I should be. But it is what it is. The person who was supposed to trim my ends flaked on me, so I started trying to trim it myself. What am I? Why do, why do I do this to myself? Why do I do this to myself? So I'm just stop right here. So my ends not getting trimmed today. <laughs> I just need loyalty, loyalty. Oh. <laughs> Am I gonna have to fly to Chicago to get my hair done? Like, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous, man. Am I gonna have to fly to LA? Am I gonna have to fly to LA? Like, yo, like. <laughs> Kippin' how 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 ironic this song come on when I mess my hair up. Kippin' Hi everybody. My name is Victoria Love, <laughs> and I'm gonna be hosting the 2016 BET Awards. My record is dropping May 16. Make sure you get the album. Girl, I look like I'm on the Just For Me box. Hold up. Let me change the music. Now I'm just letting this ain't that kind of page, okay? Now if you used to know me on this, I'm like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's up? What's up, my dog? What's up, the dog? Go put on some salsa, some bachata. What you wanna put on since then? What we gonna say? Right now we in the live mood, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna put some 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 something 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 looking I I looking 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 That's what this Cuban guy kept telling me in Mexico looking you you I I see or looking looking so now I keep saying, looking, looking. He meant to say, look. Uh, not no Kali, not no Kali. Not no Kali, not no Kali. Not no Kali, not no Kali. Kali, Kali. Because I feel like I just left Dominican Touch, baby.